Hey friends, I'm back again. <laughs> All right, now, <clears throat> a while back, a while back I had a, um, I did a video where I was tagged called Axe Cooking, and uh, I showed a bowl. And uh, when I showed that bowl, I cooked in it, uh, I said that there was a few other processes for cooking too. And um, I finally got around to making the video, and uh, it's gonna be, um, four different processes with one bowl and basically what it is is the bowl can be used as a soup bowl it can be used as a wok it can be used as a grill it can be used as an oven it can be used as a smoker the wok and the soup is the same thing <laughs> but anyway i mean it's basically four different processes and so um i'll uh find a place to drop my pack and we'll do a real, we'll do a real quick recap on the first process of how I did in the uh, axe cooking video so let me find a place and we'll sit down and get going on this anyway get this out <clears throat> now this pouch right here is basically everything in this pouch is basically what you need with the exception of a couple of small additions like maybe some pots and pans but inside here is pretty much what all you need for the four processes okay now it consists of a bowl just a stainless steel bowl okay <clears throat> i have a grill made for it and the grill has got these little hooks loop hooks on the side that hook over stuff okay and they can also be used to be held like this. Okay, so. Then, of course, there's a pan, just a plain old thick stainless steel pan. Uh, top of a cookie dough lid. <laughs> That's my cutting board. And then I got right here, I got some bungee cords with carabiner ends. Okay. A pizza pan plain old pizza pan and then I've got a ring I got a ring that's got four loops on it and then four loops welded onto it like this you don't necessarily have to have this this part this is just nice to have and I'll explain it to you because you could just take the bowl and drill holes in it to hook the carabiners in now I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on this uh, first process I'm just going to kind of cook a little bit and kind of recap for those of you that didn't see it because it's kind of a neat process so all right let me get set up over here okay all right today i got my dear old dad with me hanging out because i'm cooking for two <laughs> say hi dad hi <laughs> all right so the first thing that you do right here now is you take one bungee cord and you hook it on this loop right here and then you just wrap that around a tree okay all right, that's the first part of it. Then you hook a bungee cord on the other loop. And then uh, you wrap that around the tree. See, simple as that, okay? Now, like I say, you don't have to have this part. If you don't have access to a welder and you can't make stuff like this, you can just take the bowl and put holes in it and grab it with the bungee cords. But the cool thing about this is you can put the bowl in and out of the system. And that way you can build a fire right directly under it and after the fire gets going, you can put that on, okay? So, all right, next step, we're gonna make the fire. Now, I like to show a lot of this stuff like this because people say that they like to see how I set up camp. So, all right, let's see what we got here. We have a little bit of rice and we have a tomato and some beans all right first thing i'm gonna do <clears throat> i got the fire started there there's plenty enough heat coming up so i'm gonna put some beans in there the more stuff you put in there the um the more it's going to sink down. That's why you kind of want to start with it a little bit high up. Put a little bit of water in there. All right. 
All right, now when you got this thing done like this right here, you want to kind of, of course, you got a lid for it. So, all right, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna adjust it down a little bit. Set it down right there a little bit. And I'm gonna let that start simmering, okay? Now while that's simmering, <clears throat> the next thing that I'll do is, I'm gonna cook up a little sausage. Get all the stuff out of here. All right, got me a pan. All right, I got me a pan. And what I'll do is I'll either hold that over the fire right there or I'll scoot a little bit of coals over this way. Got me a little oil. All right, now something right here, wool is an insulator. And I've told people before that a lot of times wool can be used for a bunch of different things, keeping the cold out and keeping the cold in. So sometimes I can carry meat like this. You just lay one of those little orange pouches right up against your meat and it still stays nice and cold. So, all right. Let me get set up to cook some sausage here. And uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll bring the camera in for some sizzling good fun. <laughs> all right, now what I got here is I'm undoing my big old hunk of sausage right here. I think I'm gonna try to cook the whole thing at one time. Big old glob of sausage. Alright, thought that looked good. Yum, yum. Alright. Look better if it's cooked. <laughs> it's fixing to be cooked. <laughs> you ain't hungry, are you? When it comes to sausage, I'm always hungry. That's right. Alright, gonna kind of mash it around a little bit. You think I need to put a little of that oil in there? No. Not, not to begin with, I don't. Okay, I'll brown it up. See, what I'll do is I'll just hold it right here over the fire and I'll get it to sizzling. All right, I got that sausage sizzling real good. It should be cooked up in no time. Better give the beans a little bit of a stir. Yum. Kind of hard to bake sausage, ain't it? Unless you got a little deer meat. Yeah, but we ain't got none of that. Maybe one day. Alright, I think the sausage is about done right here now. Don't that look good? Yum, yum. Yeah, it's done. Alright. Let's dump that in. All right. All right. Set that down there. Give us a little bit of a stir. Got all them nice fats and juices in there. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit. There you go. Pull out that bungee cord. There you go. Alright. So now. There. Now we should be seeing some some bubbling happening. Once that thing starts bubbling, then I'll dump the rice in. Alright, time to check it out and give it a little stir. Oh, it's looking good. Yum, yum. Red beans and sausage. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, swelling up pretty good. Yep, just like it should. I'll put some more water in there when I put the rice in. Alright, next I got a good old tomato. Yum, is, yum. is that from my garden? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I got my K bar here. <laughs> cutlass with my Canadian belt knife and uh, I'll cut up dear old dad's tomato here. 
I'll cut it into slices and then I'll dice it up and then we'll throw it in. Kind of dicing these up kind of big so that they'll be in there. Oh, got a leaf in there. Yeah, I leave them in there. What? Real mountain man wouldn't worry about leaves. <laughs> That'd make it better. <laughs> Just the big ones, okay? Oh, me. I know, mountain men wouldn't want the dirt, but... Yeah, they eat the dirt. They would? Sure, they don't worry about nothing like that. Oh, okay, it's got plenty of proteins in it. This ain't the kitchen. <laughs> it ain't, is it? It's the outdoor kitchen. All right. Let's throw these in. There we go, nice big hunks of tomato. That should give it some, some good flavor, some good juices. It's probably going to stew away into nothingness. We'll let that simmer about another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll I'll dump the rice in. Alright. Sure is nice up here on the mountain, ain't it? Yes it is. Yep. Alright, now I think I'm ready to put in the rice. It's gonna come out. A little more water in here. Check it up real good. Alright, them's the final ingredients right there. Stir it up real good. Oh yeah, oh, spilt some of it in the fire. I think by the time this water cooks down, everything gets good and thick. Should be ready to eat. Sure is bouncing. You ain't never even seen this before, have you, Dad? Nope, sure haven't. You like it? Yeah. It's cool, ain't it? <laughs> it is. And white rice looks like some of these dogwoods out here that are blooming. Kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, let me show you some of them dogwoods right there. How they're blooming. Yep. They are all, right. all over. I think, I think it's getting about ready to try just a little bit of it. How's it look? Looks hot. It's good, don't it? All right, let's see up here. We got pan and I got a spoon. Right. Slop up some of this right here. Just a little bit of it. Put that on there. All right, let's see. Now, oh. How's that look? A little bit back? Yeah. See it? Up a little? Right there. <laughs> All right. Let it cool off a little bit. All right. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. 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 That is so good. <clears throat> All right. You ready to chow down? <laughs> yeah. All right, me and Daryl Dad's gonna chow down, and then we'll move on to the next process, okay? Happy eating. <laughs>